Hi Scorpio, thank you for tuning in. This is your July reading. Welcome. I hope you guys are okay. How are you flowing with this Cancer energy up until now? So, um, yeah, Scorpio, a lot of energy moving into your ninth house, moving into your third house. And if there was no situation with travel bans and all of that, you'll be out there, you know, out there traveling or exploring or on an adventure or something like that because that energy is arising within you so if you're having a harder time with like doing like i don't know the quarantine if that's something that you know is still active in your uh, surrounding or anything like that it's just you feel uh, you will start to feel a little bit more restless with that but in the other hand you can also transmute that energy towards something creative and um really find and express yourself in different areas instead of actually physically traveling somewhere you can also mentally and spiritually really travel ahead that's what i'm keep hearing also side note before i start the reading during meditation for you guys i got i i kept hearing tell scorpio to watch that back you know just what they need to watch that back just just watch what they need to watch it like and i felt that it was not necessarily like oh somebody's after you or uh, somebody's trying to get something from you i just feel that they wanted to make you aware of the people around you and how they are responding because people are kind of some not all but some people coming really for like a very low frequency and i really feel like something like a new beginning is arriving for you guys and maybe for some of you it already happened in the month of june like you have this new thing maybe a new job maybe you um i don't know a shift or a new beginning new chapter in your life has arrived like you know because you manifested it you brought that into your life and you might have some people around you that are quite low frequency maybe looking at you from like sort of like maybe jealous or um just like a low frequency not like honestly happy for you or are just not really necessarily in it for the right reason like something like that like i don't know just what i got with this was to just be aware of your surrounding and i think in if you take it a little bit more general it's just like hey you're moving like things are shifting things are changing have a look around those people like do they add to your energy level do they give you inspiration do they give you a sense of comfort or understanding or it has it become to a point like has it come to a point where this person is kind of only there and like draining your energy or bringing you out of alignment or bringing you out of balance and just have a look around i think with that like as if i like i said if you take a little bit more general scorpio could also mean to just be aware and be conscious of hey like what's going on in your surrounding right okay so i picked up a oracle deck the starseed oracle actually and i already got a card for you guys during meditation so this is so gorgeous i mean would you not like want to be somewhere right now with this crystal clear water like and just i don't know either maybe you're not such a big swimmer maybe you just like to sit on the beach and look at the water but like i mean <laughs> and it, i love the fact that the seas of um, mintaka came true because cancer season and the ocean is really you know it's like the whole team of this of this month so let's read the message for you and then we're gonna jump into the tarot all right the seas of mintaka seeing potential bringing unconsciousness to light all right mintaka is thought to have been a water-based planet containing the most crystal clear waters you could ever imagine so clear that you could see for miles and miles on the water the seas of mintaka card represent this crystalline clarity of potential and possibility it's about ability and choice to see the potential in all people and the situation this could be one of your natural traits or it could be a sign that what you are currently doing has great potential mintakans are thought to have been a collective race who saw the light in everything and everyone you may have received this card as confirmation that a situation or project has extreme potential and will reach fruit fruit 
fruition. Sorry. If it appears in a spread, it's a very positive sign that things are working out for the highest um sorry, highest potential of all involved. It's very uplifting, light-filled uh, light-filled card that brings great harmony, contentment and positive outcomes. Um okay. <laughs> According to Carl Jung, that which we do not bring consciousness appears in our life as fate. When water appears in a dream and art, it's often represented to the unconscious mind. Pulling this card also means that you're being called to bring to light any unconscious patterns of which you are unaware. To look at them and see them clearly and consciously to, so they don't appear in your life as fate what unconscious patterns or behaviors are ready to be brought to light of day all right so very beautiful positive energy like i said i feel for you guys but like it's also coming through with this card they're letting you know like it's a very uplifting light filled card and it's like a little confirmation of like you're you're starting to come into alignment with something new uh, something exciting or something has already arrived and you're working on trying to set something up maybe with a small group of people um for others of you it's like one person or just with yourself and you're communicating with others about it like all of that is like really good and really connected to your nine and your third house and which will stay around you know these next coming six months so it's really positive and you're getting a great um, new sense and like almost like a push towards creativity and just expressing yourself in creative level um, just starting to have interest in things that maybe you haven't felt that interested in for a long time maybe you um, you know feel guided to learn more about astrology or or tarot cards or just anything that has to do with like the higher knowledge basically and you're starting to tune into that and i think it's very powerful for you and just make sure you have um your surrounding us is supporting that you know you have a supportive surrounding all right scorpio let's ring a bell one time Let's jump into the tarot for you. Let's see. Ooh, instantly one car wanted to come out. Wow. What now? <laughs> the Ace of Cups and again, water appears. So, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. And you're determined to get it back or to find it. So you're going on a journey. I feel like it's more for you guys. It's more spiritual and emotional basically it's an emotional journey where it's all about releasing the old and inviting in the new in a very powerful way because you have the ace of cups eight of cups and the world card i mean there's a new beginning here for you and it doesn't mean you have to start all over and all of that no sometimes it's the beginning of something that you add and that's the thing where well, you're moving away from Wow, that's powerful. You know what they're showing me you're moving away from? Feeling like you always have to work so hard to get some recognition for the person that you are. To get uh, appreciation for the time and energy and effort you put in. For always being there, giving and not having that equal give and take given back to you. And it's like, I'm going to make some new plans. Look at her energy. She's like ready. It's like, all right, I'm, I'm ready. Like, I want to set some new goals. I want to do things differently. I want to make sure that my the relationships that I hold in my life are equal and bring me as much as I can offer them. And I want to be have a clear, you know, look on that. Like, I want to look at it from a different point of view, from a higher perspective, basically. Not from, like, all the motions, all attachments. It's like, no. Are we still good together? Are we still serving one another? Um, is this job still for me? All of that. But look at that. You're going to get what you want because the thing is, is that to you now, all of a sudden... <laughs> 
<laughs> you guys make me laugh because this is like no wonder people are looking at you from a certain point of view okay because scorpio look at this you get what you want you get what you need you get what you <laughs> worked for you get your payout Look how beautiful this is. You have the Nine of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. It's one of my favorite cards. And you have the beautiful Wheel of Fortune with the world. Okay, now. Okay, now. So that's the thing. You can have different outcomes. You can have certain things coming for you. You can manifest a level of respect between you and other people. And just overall feeling a sense of connected um togetherness right in alignment with you can actually have that sense of freedom yet also serve at the same time but the thing is is that for example this woman she loves to hand out what she harvests right her from her garden she has uh, all kinds of fruits and greens and all of that but this garden needs nurturing, it needs time, and then it starts to flourish and flourish, and then all of a sudden she has plenty, you see? And from this she has plenty to share and to give what she loves to do, you know? But what it needs and what it takes is the work, the patience, the nurturing she puts into it, and you need to look at yourself as this garden, so you have to nurture certain things of yourself. You cannot have only, for example, take us in your surrounding and expect that you're always got plenty to give. Sometimes your garden is empty if you have no time to spend in the garden and nurturing it and, you know, being there and taking care of it. So that's the thing. <coughs> you get what you want. You're coming on a certain level of contentment where you're like, all right, what's next, you know? And I really do feel this so strongly. Look, all that energy around you, Scorpio. The Ten of Cups is here as well. It's the bottom of the deck. Oh, we have another flip, I see. Three of Cups, exactly. I see some of you starting to really get together with friends again after this long period of time where we couldn't really be that social. And I mean, you'll do it in a safe way, but you finally feel like normal life is sort of coming back in. See, what's hiding on the knee is that... All right, new, now something strong is coming in. Is that this what you have and what you receive? Some people may look at it like you just got it out of the blue, like you haven't had to put in so much time, energy, and effort and work to get to that point or to feel that way about yourself or to, you know, uh, get what you are where you are. And the thing is, is that it's it's okay to open up. I feel like your vulnerability is coming up a little bit, you know. Um, about you don't only have to show like your wins for example it's a it's it's also okay to just be open and transparent about how much time energy and effort you put into something and then sometimes it's important also to have conversations about that you know for you but also for the other person but also with yourself like when the good things happen it was because you stayed grounded, you stayed focused in the times where it hasn't shown up yet and things were tough and things were hard. So the thing is, is that it was a long time coming and you had to do multiple things and juggle multiple things at the same time. And, and you felt like yeah, you had to be so tough on yourself. You know in order to get to that point but here you have the strength card it's about you gotta embrace the journey not just the destination you see that's what they're saying it's like embrace the whole process like love all parts of self you know maybe you feel a certain way about some decision you made in the past it's like no but those decisions let you onto a new pathway and then you had an opportunity to get to this point so what's hiding underneath is important that 
in order to really grasp the good things coming in or to in order to manifest the good things you want to come in for you you have to understand that certain life lessons are have hold value as well you gotta go back and look at them a little bit this mercury retrograde you know and just tune in like trying to find healing in them because you might feel like it might connect to like a fire sign energy it doesn't have to be but here's the queen of wands it's like all oh, my entire life my entire journey all of my life experience all of my heartaches and happy moments and tears of joy and tears of pain and tears of sadness um made me who i am and you see what i love so much is the way they made her you know with her complexion and things like that i think it's just so beautiful because she's one of the most self-confident um people but it's because of her life experience and made her into who she is and she collected all this energy through hard work effort and you know never giving up on herself never stop believing in herself and yeah i'm calling you know saying it her but it could also be him it's about knowing that you cannot only be tough and get through things sometimes you also have to be vulnerable i have to show yourself your own emotions and things like that but what i feel with this is that no every all parts of you are beautiful all parts of you make you you all parts of your life and life experience have brought you to this point and if you can embrace the whole entire package that's your win because from that point of view nothing can really get you off this pathway not for a long time at least of course we will look at certain certain experience and just don't really see the use in it and all of that but the thing is is that it did make you stronger you know and it, it always serves something it always serves something and by finding it and by embracing it that's how you take your back your personal power and not feel powerless over a situation here we have the hermit if things slow down a little bit in the month of July here and there, it's because they want you to embrace the stillness. Sit with yourself. Connect with nature. See, money looks good. But money is directly connected to how much you embrace the real you. All of you. You see, justice, the queen of pentacles. Wow, that's beautiful. Scorpio yeah you're getting an offer you're receiving a a gift of the heart work you've been putting in and I feel like it's a lot of inner work as well a lot of inner growth all right, let's see what we what else we got for you guys. Like cancer, <laughs> the chariot. There you go. Off uh, to the sunset, you know. Beautiful. All right, nine of swords, ten of swords. Okay, I fell the sword card. <laughs> But here we have the Ten of Swords with the chariot. It's like, I'm ready to leave it all behind. I'm not going to let those experience have power of me. I'm not going to let those people's opinion or people misunderstanding me as a person because I don't know, because I don't have a similar experience and then judge me for it. I'm not going to let it hold power of me. I'm going to reclaim my own personal power. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to feel the feels because I need to be able to know what's going on within me. Why do I neglect this or why I'm not open to that? And I'm going to figure it out. And on the end of the day, I'm getting my chariot and I can move on. I'm moving on move forward some of you are actually thinking about physically making a move if you feel guided to do that do it four of pentacles three of swords because that's the thing that's all what's hiding underneath the stones you know it's about 
this experience holding on to something like a disappointment or somebody really like um i don't know hurt you didn't follow through didn't come true uh things and energy put in and just didn't went the way it was you gotta let it yeah you don't have to do of course but like it's so healthy for you to go there and try and let it go for your benefit and forgive and embrace and see it as a part of you as a part of your life as a part of your journey because that's the tempers the healing the patience with self and the emperor because that's the thing that's where your personal power lays is about claiming all parts instead of wanting to neglect a couple of it and heal from it and learn from it and grow from it and then move forward anything else yeah six of cups making peace with the past making peace in general with circumstances with things like that having showing faith compassion and knowing and trusting that in divine timing things will reveal their true colors anyway you you're looking at something you're handing something over and you're in awe of something like let things inspire you scorpio let things Im like admire things you know like go on the search of like what can inspire you what can what's like oh that's fascinating i didn't know like the other day for example i figure out that actually cross can talk like they can talk like people like you know i was like what all my life i mean you know i didn't know that they could actually talk I did not know and I loved cross my entire life like I, some people find me weird because you know they's like no I love them they're so fascinating and so mysterious but I always think they look so classy you know with the whole slick back hair and all of that <laughs> I really do love them but anyway that's a side point but what I'm saying like it was I was like um admired by it. I was like what <laughs> what i need to see some videos on this like really like you know you don't like sometimes you you know you, even in your 50s things can still admire you and like you figure out something so go on the search for that like maybe something you, you can actually surprise yourself like i didn't know i had the skill like i didn't know i could do this or i didn't know i actually like this or i didn't know i could actually do this you know stuff like that it's about trying to find things that create that um inner child within yourself and somebody can can learn you something about it you know sometimes it's the kids that teach us something it's like certain video game and they they play it like it's not nothing and you're like okay so i'm holding it like this and this is to walk you know they already have all this knowledge and like even though you're the parent or you know or you're the nanny or you're the aunt you know it doesn't matter like you sit there like okay i need this knowledge and that's wisdom and that's like being be a sponge observe absorb everything and you can absorb that gives you that sense of oh fascinating you know like that or creative energy flow it just makes you feel like a part of your old self again like bring her in or bring him in you know i think it's very powerful so overall what we start off with is what we end with plenty 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 for all right emotional contentment fulfillment abundant overall it's not just abundant when it comes to finances abundance comes through many forms and shapes and is felt into a deep level uh, within us so go after it scorpio you got the magic this month so go and find it you know you got this all right scorpio i'm gonna get a and animal card for you because i felt that all right the star you got it <laughs> beautiful well like you answered my prayers okay <laughs> look at this I haven't seen this one before actually you have uh this beautiful star all right 
You are about to take a big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism, fear with hope, and joy is coming home to roost. Joy is coming home to roost. I mean, that might be the title. I'm not sure yet. I will think about it. Look at that. Joy is coming home to roost. Better get ready. Better be ready. I love you, Scorpio, so much. Um, Yeah, it's my season. So I'm just going to send everybody love and <laughs> positive energy. I always get a lot of energy during my own season for some reason. But um, yes, okay, Scorpio, I'm going to sign out before I start rambling again. Um, I love you, like I said, and I'll be back. And feel free to get a personal for me if that's something you want. You can find the information and the options in the description box below. Okay, Scorpio, I'm signing out. Please leave a like. Appreciate it. Bye.